we are going to talk about soils of India. Soils are loose uppermost layer of the earth crust. Their characteristics differ due to the wind, temperature and the rivers that flow through that region. Now we will see the different types of soils that are available in India. This soil is spread across the northern hemisphere of India. It is also spread through a narrow corridor of Gujarat and Rajasthan. This is greatly contributed by the Indus, Ganges and the Brahmaputra rivers and this soil is formed by the sediments of the rivers. That's why this is rich in potassium and humus and also phosphoric acid and lime. The crops that are grown in this soil are rice, wheat, sugarcane, paddy, jute and pulse crops. This soil covers to about 15 lakh square kilometer. This soil the ranges from the color of light color to dark brown in color. The next soil is the black soil. This is also called as regur or cotton soil. The color of the soil ranges from a gray color to dark brown or a black color. This soil is very highly clayey in content. Due to this reason, it has got a good capacity to retain its moisture. It also develops cracks during the summer and due to this, it is very difficult to work during the monsoon time. This soil is rich in iron, calcium, magnesium, carbonates, aluminium, but poor in phosphorus, nitrogen and organic matter. The soil covers about 5.4 lakh square kilometers and the crops that are grown are primarily cotton followed by sugarcane, groundnut, millets, rice, wheat and oil seeds. The areas where you find this soil is the Deccan region that is Maharashtra, parts of Andhra Pradesh, Northern Karnataka, parts of Tamil Nadu and Rajasthan. The next soil is the red soil. This is formed due to the poor weathering of rocks. It is more sandy and porous. The soil is rich in iron and has some organic matter but poor in phosphorus, nitrogen and lime. The soil is spread across 3.5 lakh square kilometers. The areas that has this soil are Tamil Nadu, Southern Karnataka, Maharashtra, parts of Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Northeastern states and Eastern Rajasthan. The crops that are grown here are Ragi, Rice, wheat, sugarcane, groundnut, millets, tobacco and potato. The next soil is the laterite soil which is also called meaning is latter means brick in latin. It is formed under high temperature and rainfall which has a wet and a dry spell. The remains of iron and alcium oxides left behind is also known as laterite. The color of the soil ranges from a brown to a yellowish in color. It is used for mainly building materials. This soil is rich in iron but poor in lime, potash and magnesium. The soil spreads to around 2.4 lakh square kilometer. The areas that the soil has are parts of Assam, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Madhya Pradesh. The crops that are grown in this area are tea, coffee, rubber, coconut and cashew. The next soil that we are seeing is the desert soil. 
This soil contains soluble salts originated due to the mechanical disintegration and the wind deposit. It is porous and coarse in nature. It contains 90% sand and 10% clay. The soil is rich in nitrates and phosphates but poor in nitrogen and humus. It is spread across 1.4 lakh square kilometers. The areas include the arid and the semi-arid regions of Rajasthan, South Haryana, Punjab, Northern Gujarat. The crops that are grown here would be millets and barley. The next soil that we will be seeing is the mountain soil. It is found in the hilly slopes which are formed due to the deposition of the organic matter from the forest. It is rich in humus but poor in potash and lime. The areas where we can find the soil is Assam, Jammu and Kashmir, Sikkim, Himan, Himachal Pradesh. The crops that are generally found in these type of soils would be tea, coffee, spices and tropical fruit. The next soil is the sandy, saline and alkaline soil. This contains salts like sodium, magnesium and calcium. The accumulation of these salts are transported by the rivers and canals making it infertile that is unfit for cultivation. It is sandy and loamy in textures. Parts of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra have this type of soils. It is also known by different names like Ray, Kallar or USAR. The next soil is the peaty and marshy soil. This occurs in humid region and these are formed by accumulation of the organic matter. It is black in color and it's highly acidic. The areas that we find these soil is the Kotayam district and Alape in Kerala, the coastal Orissa and the Sundarbans in the West Bengal.